Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a little while since we've had one of our more traditional vlog styles. If you're <laughs> into those, sorry about the wait. Um, but today is all about spicy sushi and DCT. <laughs> spicy modes of DCT. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're, we're on our way to a place called, I don't know, Sus He? What, what is it called? I mean, it's it's literally sushi, but they like separated the S and the H, so it's sus and then like hi. But I don't know how they want us to pronounce it. Yeah, and, and sus is a little sus, but anywho. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but apparently they have a Hot Ones challenge sushi roll thing with all the different Hot Ones hot sauces. So Which is very, very cool. Yeah, I'm very inclined to try it. Um, at any rate, we wanted to chat about... Oh, you're way back there. Sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, we wanted to chat about the different modes on the NC750X DCT, uh, how Zen utilizes them, which ones she likes, which ones she doesn't. Uh, I guess we'll start with uh, Ray mode, because just now we were going through the... Uh, what are those things called? The curly wordies? The twisties? Yeah, those. Uh, let's move over one. Um, so when I'm going through something that I'm not yet 100% confident about, I uh, sort of use the rain mode to, um, and, it, and I don't know the technical term for this, but it feels a little bit more contacty with the road. Um, so that's what rain mode is usually being used for, is whenever I feel like I need a little bit more contact with the road, that's that's when I use the rain mode for and then as you can see I'm now in sport mode that's because um, I know that I'm gonna have long stretches of road and I need a little bit more get up and go and like oomph with it um, and then pretty much that's it I do not touch the standard mode I do not to want to go near it with the six feet pole because it has always been clunky and awkward whenever I try to use the standard mode I I honestly do not understand why that mode exists on this bike. Yeah, standard mode is kind of garbage. Um, it's just, it, it's, I just don't understand their logic with that. <laughs> it's so terrible. It shifts at the wrong point all the time. It's, it feels like you're breaking the engine. You're just lugging it super hard all the time. It's a weird mode. Don't I don't get it. And I don't think Zen does either. I no, I do not. And honestly, I feel like with the um, sport mode and the hand pedals where I can shift up or shift down whenever I need to, um, it's been a great ride and it's pretty exciting. I know a lot of people think DCTs are kind of boring, but because of there's a little bit more thinking with the shifting up and shifting down with the um, hand pedals, it's been a lot of fun. I don't feel like I need to create a manual mode yet because PJ has talked about maybe creating a manual mode. I hope everybody's okay in that truck. This is Florida <laughs> all the time. So when you say make a manual mode, what, what do you mean? Like just put it in manual and, and use the uh, um, the paddle shifters, or are you talking about the foot pedal thing I was talking no, about? No, there's actually a user custom manual mode that... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, you yeah, said yeah. you would change for me, because one thing in the sport mode that I don't like, and I use the pedal to correct, is um, when it's at... Uh, when she says no, pedal, she means paddle. <laughs> okay. So the paddle to correct is uh, the... Um, when it's at a lower gear, but it has really high rev, like it feels like the bike is working extra hard and, and I don't like it. So I use the paddle to um, upshift to Let's a one, yep, one gear higher. And then that prevents it feel, feeling like the bike is working extra hard and not going very fast. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah, Zen's <laughs> not into the super high RPMs. 
Um, so she kind of likes the bike being in the more mid ground, like around shifting around 5,000 probably. Cause I think what's, what is the uh, max on your bike? Seven or eight? Yeah. Which one? I don't know. Okay. So <laughs> watch out, watch uh -huh. out for this van. So anywho, yeah, I was telling her, you know, I could go into the user mode and program it to be a lot more like sport mode but get it to shift a little bit earlier than rain or standard or no r earlier than sport mode um so it would shift i don't know a little sooner but she doesn't seem too into that yet so. no because i really like using the paddles when i when i don't feel like it's doing what it what i want it to do i just use the paddles there you like, go when I feel like the bike is struggling a little hard, I'm like, oh, you want me to open the reins a little bit. So then I open the reins a little bit and then like she goes, I'm smoothed out now. So then she's fine. And then for those of you who may not know, because it doesn't seem to be widely known, um, you can get a foot shifter for the NC750X, you know, that acts just like a, uh, the shifter on my manual bike uh it's just still no clutch but you use your left foot to shift and in fact when i eventually get uh the africa twin i want to get it in dct but i want to have that foot shifter because i don't know i like it it's uh i like I, I like the idea of putting it in the manual and then me deciding what gear to be in all the time also, if anybody knows why that light on my dash on the top right, uh, the different colors, I'm sure it's in the user manual somewhere. Yeah, my understanding um, is you can also change that light to mean different things too. Like, it's weird. The manual's super confusing about and it. And now I it's blue it. again. <laughs> <laughs> so... So if anybody uh, that watches our video knows why that light does that, other than maybe it's just having a little party in there, uh, please let us know. Yeah, cause... it's a little dashboard rave. Yeah. Oots, 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 oots. Yeah, welcome to uh, Orlando in March, which is supposed to be winter. It is 85 degrees. Feels like 95 in our ears. Oh, it's a fish fish sorry <laughs> so what is this this is the salmon slayer burrito ah cheers Nice fish. Very mm. vinegary. That's mellow. Oop, oop. Number two at what Scoville? We're at 52k. Mmm. This is a good sauce. This, this one, one is the zombie apocalypse. We're at 500k. Spicy meatball. But it's still flavorful. Yeah. No, there's flavor. Nice. We're at the bomb. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is the bomb? Uh huh. Oh no. This is the bomb. The funny is between that one and that one, it didn't go up in heat, but I feel like this one is going to hurt me. Ooh. Okay, so no joke, it's spicy, but the way people freak out about this one on hot ones, they don't 100% understand 
Yeah. It's gnarly, though. Oof. It's gnarly, oh, but... It's, you know what? It's starting to hit. It's not pleasant. It's really not pleasant. Oh. Oh. That's oh. Mm -hmm. What is it? How fire. Okay. I got some watery eyes. Oh. Okay, last one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, that was punishing. We finished it. We made it. What do you think of it? Um, everything was good and delicious up until the bomb. And, um, and then the bomb, I think, had um, some kind of really acidic layer and it just killed everything. It wasn't a good idea to have had the burrito beforehand because the burrito had this like crunchy outer layer that just like tore up our mouths ahead of time. Um, so lesson learned. Our mouths are fine now. My stomach is killing me. So we're going to cut it short here, but here's our little proof. We've got our little survivor pins and uh, we're, we're going to cut it here so I could just the focus PJ, on writing. PJ's hallucinating. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, consider subscribing and liking. Bye. And come back and find out if he's okay. Yeah, I might die tonight. Bye. <laughs>